Today, we're going to take a closer look at the similarities and differences between the hard-working Border Collie and the equally driven Golden Retriever. Welcome back to the Femrir Border Collie Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder here at FemrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could ever want to know about the amazing Border Collie, then how you can become a high-level canine leader that raises perfect Border Collie companions. So if you love the Collie as much as we do here at Fenrir, start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Border Collie video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we'll compare two of the most hard-working breeds in the world and what you should consider when choosing the right canine companion for you and for your home. The first thing that strikes you when looking at the Border Collie and the Golden Retriever is that they don't really look much alike. The Border Collie is slightly smaller than the Golden Retriever and while both breeds have quite long coats, the Border Collie is longer with more diversity in colour, where the Golden Retriever has that golden brown fur that we all know and love. Now, speaking of coats, both these breeds need grooming, but it has been said by Golden Retriever owners that their dogs shed more than is comfortable. So if you're a person who likes dark colours on your furniture, mats, clothes and so on, you should be aware that your Golden Retriever's fur will cover absolutely everything and you'll end up being just as golden brown as he is. Now, back to the, the general look, the Border Collie is the more slender in body type than the Retriever, who quite honestly has the tendency to be a beast if not restrained uh, with his food requirements and exercise requirements. Now, the Retriever in general has a sturdier and more muscular look to him than the Border Collie, even if they are of a good weight. Now, both of these amazing breeds are working dogs, and as such, their energy levels are very high. However, the Border Collie does beat the Golden Retriever in this aspect, since they were bred to work, or at least keep active, all day long, every single day. The Golden Retriever is a very active dog as well, but they can be quite happy with more playtime than have to be working. If they are not fulfilled with retrieving during hunts, playtime can usually tap into that and give them enough mental stimulation. Now, keeping your dog happy no matter the breed will take exercise, physical and mental, and the Border Collie is known to be extreme in his need of activity to not go berserk at home. The Golden Retriever may not be as extreme, but he does still need a lot of exercise to be the happy dog that we all know and love. So do not by any means think you'll be getting a couch potato if you bring a Golden Retriever into your life just because they're a little bit less than a Border Collie. Now, I'm not saying the Golden Retriever won't appreciate adventures like the Border Collie does, but he's more likely to be happy with less exercise than the Collie will. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. When it comes to children, both breeds may do better with older children rather than toddlers. The Border Collie has the tendency to herd children and it can be easier to teach older children how to deal with this. A Golden Retriever is large and happy enough to sweep smaller kids off their feet, not because he wants to but because he's just too happy and too excited to stop in time, which can cause accidents. With older children, however, a Golden Retriever can have the time of his life if he can get them to throw something for them to retrieve, and they will do that all day long. There's also quite the difference in temperament between these two breeds. Both are exceedingly loving towards their family, but the Border Collie is much more reserved towards strangers than the Golden Retriever, who tends to love just about anybody looking in their direction. The Border Collie is more likely to be noisy than the Golden Retriever as well, but the Retriever may be a better guard dog than the Border, though none are particularly good in that field either way. Now, intelligence-wise, both these breeds are very smart, but here too, the Border Collie really excels. Whatever you choose to do with your Border Collie, he, they will be a superstar at it. Start working on socialization and basic obedience with him as a pup and move on to whatever you are interested in, and you can enter any trial with him and expect the best outcome if you train them properly. The Golden Retriever is very outgoing and fun and loves to please his people and is therefore very easy to train. 
Like any other breed, he needs his socialization and basic training from a young age to get the chance to develop into that perfect canine companion that we are all wanting. So moving on to health, both these breeds are considered relatively healthy. There are issues you should know about. For example, both breeds can suffer from hip and elbow dysplasia. The Border Collie can sometimes have problems with deafness, epilepsy, collie eye anomaly, and some other bits and bobs. The Golden Retriever can suffer from various eye conditions as well, also various heart diseases and a few other issues. Please make sure that you educate yourself on what are typical for each breed, since this can cause major problems to your financial situation with numerous visits to the vet, so this is where insurance can be very helpful. Oh, and remember that the Golden Retriever, like I said, is prone to obesity, so make sure you take extra care in his daily intake of food in relation to his exercise levels. Obesity can be the cause of many other health issues, and it's unnecessary for you to be the reason that your dog does get unhealthy. Now, given you take good care of your dog, give him that good nutritional food, give him the physical and mental exercise that they need, make sure that he knows rules, boundaries, expectations and limitations, and any of these breeds can live quite long lives. Being the smaller breed, the Border Collie beats the Golden Retriever in this respect with a life expectancy on average of 12 to 15 years, while the Golden Retriever can be expected in that kind of 10 to 12 years or so. So, I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of these two incredibly intelligent and glorious dog breeds. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe and turn on that notification bell as we've got two dedicated Border Collie videos coming to this channel every single week. And I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre Border Collie Show.